All right, so repeat after me. Use motion to make more money. We need like a little bouncing ball. Use motion to make more money. There's a lot of money in motion design and that's because the industry is booming, it's in its infancy, and it is a growing trend that is only going to get more and more popular. And if you're not at least selling this, then you should actually explore the possibility of learning this skill. But one way or another, whether you learn the skill or you sell it, this is something you should definitely be looking at. So today I'm gonna to talk about motion design and how you can leverage it in your graphic design business or web design business. All right, so if you stay with me till the end of this video, I'm going to show you some really neat ways to actually make thousands of dollars, add thousands of dollars of revenue to your business using motion design without any motion design skills. Now you'll need to know some basic things and I'm gonna cover those in this video, but motion design is a hot, trending thing right now and there's a lot of demand for it. So if you can leverage this and hang with me to the end of the video, I'll give you some of these secrets. So the first thing you need to know, and this is really important, is understanding what is motion design. Motion design is animating graphical images on a timeline. It's actually animating a photo or an image that you've created on your computer and animating that and putting motion to it. Motion graphic designers are the ones that do this and they're also known as motion designers, not just motion graphic designers, but motion designers. There's a lot of them out there and it's growing very, very quickly, but they actually animate graphics for web, for television and for film. And this is something that you see in our videos all the time, the pop-ups, the little animations. You can get stock ones or you can create your own from scratch, but this is a really important thing that is happening more and more and more. And this is something that you should be able to leverage. So I wanna know who's watching this video. Are you a motion graphic designer? If you are, introduce yourself down below. This channel is not just for graphic designers, but motion graphic designers and web designers. And I wanna be able to meet you. If you're a motion designer, we're looking to expand our team. We're looking to expand our, our family. And so we would love to have you in our community. So definitely drop a comment down below, introduce yourself. I respond to almost every single comment and I would just love to hear from you. All right, so the second piece to this, and this is really, really important, and I put the most amount of my research and time and energy into this because I really wanted you to walk away with something tangible, is what type of motion design work is going to be big and what kind of skills does a motion designer need to have? If Whether you're gonna hire somebody or you're gonna learn the skills, you need to have a basic understanding of that. So I'm gonna give you three types of motion design work that I think are gonna be big going forward. And then I'm gonna give you some of the understanding of what type of skill sets that person needs in order to do this type of work. Now, number one, and this is one I've talked about many times on this channel, and I think this is a really big deal, and it's only going to get bigger, and it really relies on the branding of the project, but it's NFTs or non-fungible tokens. If you're not familiar with what an NFT is, you should probably watch the video. We'll link it up above of what is an NFT so you can get a basic understanding, but this is a huge trending area right now that's related to cryptocurrency that has a lot of popularity, a lot of hype, and with the good campaigns, if you can actually put some motion to them, which is what some of the work that we've done recently, I can't talk about unfortunately uh, because of NDAs, but if you actually animate some of these NFTs, you can add even more value, post them on your Twitter, post them on social media, and this adds a lot of value to the projects. And so this is something I see that's gonna continue to grow in bringing some of these NFTs to life. I think Beeple's done animations. Uh, a lot of these big NFTs actually have motion to them now. And so motion design or animation kind of falls into the same category, but that's the first one that I really wanted you to know and really take into consideration. The second one, and this is probably where we've generated the most amount of revenue as a company so far up to this point, and this is explainer videos. I personally love explainer videos. You can find people on Fiverr and other websites that do cheap whiteboard versions of them, but actually to find a motion designer that has the skill sets like Ian, that's a really high level motion designer, to actually create an explainer video from scratch. We create the scripting, we create the storyboards, we create the actual animation, we create the assets for it. Somebody that can do all that stuff to start and finish, those projects are worth a lot of money. They range anywhere on the low side. I think the lowest we've ever done one for is about 3,600 and can range up to like 15, 20 grand at the highest. And I'm sure they could go even longer if you're doing even longer videos, but explainer videos basically just walk a customer or a client through the journey of something that you're trying to explain for them. And these are becoming more and more popular. And I see the, the trend rising and I see that there's gonna be even more of that type of work coming here in the future. So this is something that you should really consider if you're looking to get into motion design is creating explainer videos and marketing that to your existing clients. All right, now the last one, and I'm actually gonna to have to probably read some of this stuff because I made some notes that I didn't wanna forget. I don't wanna leave anything out, but the last one is one of my favorites and that is kinetic typography. I really love kinetic typography. Ian is super gifted at that. He's done a lot of really cool, that was actually when he sent me over his initial reel, 
and I was going to look to hire somebody, that was one of the things I was looking for and he had a lot of that in his portfolio. And so I think you need to look for that as well. It's a popular trend. Uh, I think kinetic typography kind of started back in the day with the music videos that were on YouTube and people putting moving text to the videos that's kind of elevated. Now the typography moves in different directions and stacks and you can do so many neat things. We did one for a church campaign that I thought was really neat where there was a lot of kinetic typography, but it's just animated text basically that is animating in different ways. It flips, it spins, it goes at different angles. And I think this is gonna be even more and more popular going forward. It's really entertaining, it's fun to watch, and it doesn't really take as much work as an explainer video does. All right, so let me just read a little bit of this because I wanna make sure you get everything out of it. So there are more than eight different types of projects that you can do and stuff that we've done. Um, the types of other ones that I wanted to mention and one that I think is really important for you to take away from this video, and we're gonna get to this towards the end, is animated logos. Uh, animated logos are awesome because they have a high demand and this is how I would personally introduce it and this is actually how I have actually introduced it to my clients in the past is offering my clients free animated logos when they buy a logo design or do some sort of project with me. I'll just give them an animated logo and I use some different things to do that. Either Ian will do them or we have a software that I'm gonna talk about here in just a minute that you can use to actually introduce animations, motion design to your clients. All right, so now that we've wrapped that up, I'm gonna need to read this list of the skill sets that you have because there's a lot here and I just can't remember all of them off the top of my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my phone and I'm gonna read these off to you. So some of the skills that you need to have if you're a motion designer, number one, 2D or 3D modeling. Whether you're doing flat design or you're doing 3D design, those are totally different skill sets. Not every motion designer is gonna be able to do 3D and not everyone's gonna be able to do 2D. Some are gonna lean more towards 3D and some are gonna lean more towards 2D. I think in our experiences, we like to do more 2D. I think it's more applicable, it's a little bit more simple, uh, but I think 2D and 3D modeling, they need to have a basic understanding of that. The second thing here is animated perspective or animation perspective. What is the angle or the camera angle and understanding the perspective, where's the lighting and all that stuff. And we're gonna talk about that here in a second. Number three is organization. One thing I've noticed and the reason why I don't think I could be a very good motion designer is you have to be extremely organized with your files and your timelines and your assets and your everything linking together. There's so many things to organize and then you have scripts and you have storyboards. There's a lot to organize and a lot to keep track of. And for me, I get really overwhelmed with the complexity that I see happens in motion design and tracking things on a timeline and all the little, uh, I forgot the little, the marks that they put in there on the, on the timeline. So it's a lot to, to keep track of. So you have to be well organized and be able to organize your projects and put them together the right way. So this is a really important skill that I think every motion designer needs to have. All right, number four is procedural animation. Number five is texturing and lighting effects. I think this is really cool. This is an area that I saw Ian was jumping into, was more of the textures and learning how to put textures on his, on his stuff rather than just being flat colors or gradient colors. I think it adds a lot of depth to motion design. And if this is something that you wanna implement, you need to make sure that your motion designer that you're hiring or the skill sets that you're going after is something that you can actually incorporate into your stuff because I think it makes a big difference as well as lighting. Uh, number six <clears throat> is timing. Understanding the timing of this and how you're gonna track along the storyboard and understanding the context of it. Timing is a really big deal. Animation's moving too slow, animation's moving too fast. There's a lot that we could go into with timing. Maybe we'll have Ian or somebody on the team make a video specifically about each of these skills in depth, but I think these are important elements you need to think of. And then the last one, and this applies to it as a whole, is contextual storytelling. Every project that we do, whether it's an NFT, explainer video, a commercial, whatever we're doing, there's always context. What is the objective? You wanna make sure that that motion designer understands the storytelling aspect and the entire goal of this project and there's contextual storytelling incorporated. The storyline, the music's gotta match, the, the, the animation's gotta match, everything should be cohesive and the brand should match. So make sure that you understand all of those seven skills if you're going to offer this to your clients because you wanna make sure you're giving them the best bang for their buck. All right, so do me a favor. If you found even one of these things helpful, please hit the thumbs up button on this video, hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell too because I need people like yourself to be able to find this content, like this content, and that tells YouTube to show more content. It really is a, I don't get paid for doing any of this. We make a little bit, a couple hundred bucks a month on ad revenue, but I do this because I genuinely wanna help. So if you could just pay it forward back to me by just throwing a thumbs up on the video and subscribing to the channel, it makes a big difference for me and I really appreciate it. 
All right, the last phase, and this is what you've been waiting for, and this is where I told you if you wait till the end of the video, I'm gonna give you some gold nuggets, and these are coming here. And this is monetizing this booming niche. Motion design is a booming niche where it's still at its infancy. It hasn't been around as long as graphic design and video production. Uh, it's really an emerging trend and emerging area that I think that you guys should be taking advantage of. And I wanna see more motion designers be put to work and people jumping into the industry. If you're a seasoned graphic designer, this may be the perfect thing for you to add into your tool belt. And I wanna encourage you, if this is something that interests you and you're curious about it, you should definitely take a look. And so let me give you some resources real quick that I think will help you out. Now, if you actually want to monetize this, you need to get the word out to your clients. So I'm gonna give you three things that you can do to get the word out to your clients and start to monetize motion design within your own business. The first one I already mentioned, and that's creating them a logo animation for free using a software like Video Bolt, Videos, or I think there's one called Animaker. Yeah, that's the other one I think. So there's three options for you right there. Uh, but I think Video Bolt is the strongest one. They have a large gallery and their stuff is very affordable. And so we have one of their paid membership plans. And if we just need to knock out a quick logo animation, that's what we use because you pay a one flat fee and you can do pretty much as many videos as you want, I think, uh, on their larger plans. So this is something that I would consider is doing logo animations for your clients and just sending that to them for free and just doing the value add. They didn't ask for it, they're not paying for it, but you're just doing it as an extra bonus for them doing business with you and it's a really good way to open up the conversation and to start a conversation around motion design. Now the second way, and this is something that I really want to encourage you to take consideration of, is send us your motion design work. Ian and I have been working really hard for the last couple of years to build this channel, to build our team, to build our processes and our systems. And we've reached that place now. We're ready to take on a ton of motion design work and even go bring in other motion designers. That's why I wanted you guys to introduce yourself if you do motion design. So if you're looking to actually get motion design work done and you want somebody that you can trust, send it to us. Not only are you gonna get the work done the right way, but we also offer an agency to agency or, or creative to creative pricing structure that is very affordable for you. And you can take that and mark it up for your clients and make a really nice profit. How good does that sound? So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna put a link down in the description to reach out to us to send us your motion design work. And this is a really good way to get started right out of the gate. All right. So now that comes to our last one, the last way to monetize the motion design niche and incorporate that into your business. And this is for you to learn it yourself. But where the heck do you start? Where do you begin? How do you start learning the skill? Well, I'm sure you could go watch videos on YouTube like this, right? That's a good way to start. There's probably people out there that you can learn from, maybe even uh, some experts that you already know. But I really wanna encourage you to make an investment into yourself. If this is something that you're really interested in, make the investment and check out School of Motion. This is a really good academy. It's a really good platform, a really good program. Ian's done a couple courses inside of this. I think we paid for Explainer Camp, which teaches you a lot of the fundamentals and knowledge that you need to know about explainer videos. So if you're planning on going out and doing explainer videos for people, I would really want to encourage you to check out School of Motion's Explainer Camp. There's some other ones that you can learn about texturing and lighting and kinetic typography. They have so much to offer and I'm not paid or endorsed or sponsored by them in any way, but I really believe in what they're doing and I wanna support them, my fellow creatives in the industry. I wanna see them continue to grow and it's gonna really help you make the investment into yourself. Don't be afraid, they offer payment plans. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do this. Ian's done it. I'm probably gonna do some stuff just so I can sharpen my ax as well. And I just really wanna encourage you guys, if this is a, an area that you find interesting, that you think could give you a unique angle compared to all your competitors, which is why I created this, I really wanna encourage you either start doing some logo animations with the softwares I gave you, send us some of your work, or check out School of Motion. They'll give you everything you could possibly need. So that's it for today. If you have any questions about motion design, you wanna get some motion design work done, if I missed something, call me out. Drop a comment down below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and as always, keep looking up.